Okay, let's begin. According to my YouTube channel, which is not very active at all, um, there's a huge demand, and by huge, I mean two people. So I'm gonna make a video about how to do this schematic. So let's begin. First of all, Pro Tools. This is the software that I use to make them my PCBs. And we go to File, New Project. And we name it whatever we want. In this case, this is a back and forth flasher. Let's put back. Okay. We save it wherever we want to. I'm gonna save it just here for. I don't know. There we go. Now we're gonna have to make a schematic sheet. We choose whatever is default. I usually I usually use this one. So let's begin next. We do, we make, we create a PCB layout uh, with the selected template, of course, and then we select double AutoCAD, which is what I usually do. It's much easier because it gives you the default board with two layers. It makes your life easier. We don't have a, we don't have a microcontroller in this schematic, so we're just gonna go ahead and. Put no framework project, framework project. Next, and we finish. Okay. Now, according to the schematic, we need the following circuits or integrated circuit, which is four seven four one five four. Yes. There we go. It's this bloody thing. What's the difference? I think not. Oh, here it is. No simulation model. And this one apparently has a simulation model. Let's double click this. Hopefully, it won't make us mad. We need a 555, which is a classic horse. And then we need. What else do we need? A lo logic gate? 7400. Zero zero. Which is a NAND gate. Yes, a NAND gate. Double click. In case uh, this part bugs us in the schematic, we're just gonna choose another one from here. And that's pretty much it. Now, which one? It's the 74193, which is the decoder, if I'm not mistaken, synchronous up counter. Yes, it's a counter, not a decoder. And we double click it and that's pretty much it oh we forgot the LEDs and the resistors we need a 100 K resistor where is it resistors we need a 1k resistor same way we choose resistors and then we choose metal film we don't really care about the watts because, uh, well, we actually care, but right now we don't. A capacitor, which is going to make our 555 oscillate, it's 0 0.33 microfarads. Where is it? Okay, look. Now, as we see, we don't have a PCB layout, so we gotta find one with the question mark, and then we type LED, and hopefully we'll find something that fits our needs. Here is a package for an LED. We double click it, and then we press OK, and there we have this package. Now we gotta do it again for everything else.
Excellent. Now, back to the PCV. Finally. Perfect. Back to PCV. Finally. Let's see how everything looks. And it looks like shit. But that's what we got. Let's move this section downwards. We can change it here supposed to say something about inches and that shit but nobody uses that only US people but anyway. and let's put it all to millimeters now let's put it to outer road yay excellent now as we can see this bias BS, whatever you call them, are very small. So we gotta make sure to make it bigger. Power, of course, it's T25 because they need more strength or resist more current. And the signal, we just gonna put them about 25, which is the same as the power. Here we can put a connector. Let's do that right now. We go to tools, power plane, and we can assign power to each side of the of the PCB. The bottom copper should be ground and the top layer, I mean the bottom layer, yes the bottom layer should be power and there we go. Let's see how it looks on 3D. Looks pretty nice if you ask me. Does it look too shitty? Of course, you could put those holes in there because why not? There's always space for a holder. Let's put this one around here. There we go. Make sure to always save. That's our brand new lovely gift for our girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever you sexuality is how do you export it well you go to output generate Gerber Gerber files yes yes I want to yeah whatever or do you want to save it file name blah 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 okay you go to your files And there you go. This is the this is the file you upload all to uh, to your PCB manufacturing. Then you go to manufacture it. That's it. See you later. 
and bye bye how do you turn this off?